Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to tie the rosy salmon fly. This fly was created by Gary Harkin, a ghillie on the River Tay. In this example I'll be using a size 7 salar hook and I'll be using size 80 chartreuse tying thread. So first we'll tie on. And cut off the surplus. And I'll be using open turns towards the rear of the hook. And then again open turns back towards the middle. Next we'll be adding on the tag and in this case I'll be using gold the garden non-tarnishing French tinsel. We add it to the underside of the hook. couple of turns hold in place and we want to do four turns one two three four and then back through the middle hooks again holding it tight tie it off two or three turns now because we'll be using the same tinsel for the rib I'll just Push it back on itself, pinch it, and tie it in. There we go. Next, we want to add the tail. And in this example, we'll be using yellow, orange, and light blue bucktail. This is the sort of color of bucktail, the color of blue I'd like to use. So we mix it together. Put in stacker, and just turn it around to get the right mix. Just use your fingers just to roll in your fingers till you get the mix you like. There you go. Couple of too many threads. There you go. That looks not bad. Now I want to tie it double length of the hook. So there's the length of the hook, and again, there you go. So tight on top, a few turns to hold it in place, there we go, and cut off the surplus. Tie it up a little bit. Okay, now the next bit we want to add in a little, little crystal flash. In this case, we're using pearl. So take one strand, add it to the top, just short of the length of the bucktail. A couple of turns that hold it in place. Bring the other part back on the top, and again tight in place. Now, tie the thread towards the back, and as you get close to the back, don't use as much pressure, because you use too much pressure, the tail will spike up. There we go. Cut that bit just a bit shorter, and there's your tail. Now the next bit is to add the rear body, and in this case it will be Glow Bright Number 11 Fluorescent Floss. Okay, it's pretty thin floss, so what I like to do is, I like to double it up, so cut a bit off, double it up, and just give it a quick lick, and this helps hold the strands together while you're tying them in. So we want to tie it from the back, so about Halfway to about there. Okay, so that touching turns. Okay. Here we are now bring it back up to the top. 
and tie it off. There we go. And cut off the surplus. Next, we want you to tie in the rear rib. So one turn at the tail and open turns towards the middle. One, two, and three, and lock it off. So three or four turns here just to lock it in place and cut off the surplus which we'll use for the front rib. Now at this stage what I like to do is add a hitch just to hold it in place in case anything goes wrong while you're tying. There we go. The next thing to do is tie in the mid hackle and in this case we'll be using a red feather So we get the feather, open up the barbs. Now we want this feather to just touch the rear of the hook when it's tied in. So we'll tie it in on the top of the hook. There we go. Two or three turns to hold it in place and cut off the surplus. There we go. Now, all the feather of hackle pliers and we pinch the barbs back on themselves. This just helps to start. Start it off, so and you grab the bottom, a couple of the bottom barbs to guide the feather in the right direction. And now we just tease it back all the time. That's one turn. We're going to do about four turns here. Just teasing it back. That's two. So just tease it back. Three. Teasing it back. And there's four. Okay. So now we tie off again at the top. So hold the thread tight, stop it unraveling. Three or four turns and cut off the surplus. There we go. And pull out any barbs that have gone the wrong direction. There you go. So right next we just want to push the feathers back because we want to get them set back. And you can help that by just using the tiny thread gently back over the, the barbs. There we go. So that's the mid hackle. Next we want to add in the rib again because we'll be ribbing the front body but this time we'll add it on the top. There we go. Three or four turns to hold it in place. Now we want to introduce the front body which will again be glow bright but in this case it'll be glow bright number one. Again it's very fine so what I like to do is just double up the floss
give it a quick lick to hold it in place, hold it together a little bit while we're tying it on. Introduce it to the fly. And there you go. Now just tie it in. Again, touching turns. Couple more turns, I think. There we go. Get to top. Lock it off. Three or four turns all in place, then back on itself, and then one turn. Okay, and then cut off the surplus. Next, we want to wind on the front rib. Wind it once at the back, then open turns towards the front. Probably two or three turns. One, two and three and tie it off and two or three turns are hold in place and now what I like to do is put a hitch to hold it in place there we go and cut off the surplus There we go. If there's a slight bump at the front, what you do is you just use your fingernail and push it down. Okay. Next, we want to add in the front hackle, which will be an orange cock feather. And again, quite a big feather again, so open up the barbs, because this feather is to be slightly longer than the rear one so it overlaps. Let's put it back right there. So introduce a feather to the top of the fly. Three or four turns to hold it in place. Okay. And cut off the surplus. we go. Now grab the hackle pliers again to hold the feather and again pinch the barbs back on themselves. This just helps tie it in. There we go. Now we grab the bottom bit to guide it the way you want it to go and start the first turn. Now again, we just tease the barbs back all the time. There's one turn, we probably want to do four turns here again. That's the first one. Second. Third, and one more, I think should be enough. There we go, there's a fourth. Now tie it off at the top. Okay. Holding the thread tight, okay. release the feather. Now do two or three turns and cut off the surplus. Now all there's left to do is build up the head. So push your feather back and hold it with your hand like that. And now just build up the head of the fly. Now don't put too much pressure on it because you, you put a lot of pressure on the thread down, the hackle tends to stand out. It pushes the hackle forward. So if you do it with a little bit less pressure, it should sit nicely. Like that. Okay, 
we've got to do now is tie it off. So two, three turns with the hitch tool. And then do it again. There we go. Cut off the thread. All that's left now is to varnish your head and the fly is ready. There you go, the rosy fly. I hope you liked the video and happy tying.